YouTube, what's up, what's good, what's happening? It's your boy Wavy K. I'm back with another video. In today's video, the real OGs know about this video, man. I think it was my second video. I did a video with this guy, JR. He had the Sinister Camaro in that video. We was chopping it up about the Sinister Camaro 2.0. So today's video, we're going to see the 2.0. I don't think I told y'all what car it was in the last video, so I'm just going to let y'all see it when we pull up on them. I seen the car in a couple pictures, a couple videos, but just like the last video, it was nothing like it was in person. So I can't wait to see this build in person. It's actually one of my dream cars. So I, me getting a chance to ride in this car, I know it's about to blow my mind, but y'all stay tuned for the video. I got the Z over here, man, <laughs> being neglected. She being neglected by me, but we taking the scat, of course. Let's get the, the first start of the day. Got the work van behind. Start of the day, sounding good. Still looking clean, pretty clean. Man, I guess a bird didn't like me, man. You gotta wash it anyway. She's filthy right now. Uh, she's filthy. You gotta wash it anyway. Stay tuned, man. We're about to pull up on them. We'll get back with y'all when we get there. First thing I was done, Yeah, man. Some little cheap mods, you know, from videos. You're good for license plate. I had it on my old car, so I did one time on my old car, but. Man, just give me heat over all this stuff in my anger when I had it back in the day. But it's a brighter light I plan on buying, so that should help it out at night. But. What, LED? Like bright white LED light? Yeah, bright one. Yeah, man. I ain't Don't seen you since last life. year. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Uh, what we JR, got now, man? Sensor Camaro. So uh, today, I've got for you the uh, brand new 2021 Camaro Z01 1LE. Uh, for those of you that don't know, because I know you're a bunch of boats on this channel, <laughs> it is supercharged. It's a track car. It means I can take curves and stuff. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just want a little something different. Uh, I think there's only, when I've got this, there's the only car like this in my area. Buddy. There's only one other car like this in the area. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> Mustang. <man. Yeah. laughs> so there's only one like it in the, in the area. Um, I think there's another one now. I just met up with him. But uh, it's a very rare car to see. So I wanted to take it an extra mile. I like horror movies, as you can tell. So we did a hard theme wrap. But we don't, not only that, we did a little bit of exhaust work, cold air intake, uh, wheels and tires are aftermarket, uh, some lighting upgrades, some starlight headliner, all that good stuff, just for a little aesthetic appeal for me. Uh, we also put an actual light in the door, so it's not reflective, it's not going in the dark, it's an actual light panel that's kind of blended in during the day, but at night when the lights come, like all the lights are off, and you can see it really shine through the lights. So a little custom, at, uh, custom piece on it. Um, it's still not loud enough like I wanted. I've got some long tube headers at the house that I'm, I'm going to be putting on here. And then after that, we're going to look at camming it and probably a pro charger setup to hit that 1,000 horsepower. So, it's going to take a little time. No more. Yeah, it's the last year. There's no more chargers. That's what they say. Yep, next year, that's it. Well, I like that Camaro. That's pretty cool. Appreciate it. Yeah, man, it looks crazy in person. Now y'all ready to see you got the um, audience all lit up. Rap is crazy, man, but here it is, man.
faster than the, uh, the first Camaro? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> right out the gate, it's already faster. It's a whole lot more fun to drive than out can tear, the heat and cool seats and all that. I'm just like, I'm living luxury on this. <laughs> yeah, that supercharging your videos, that's just my favorite part about it. Hey. I never thought I'd like superchargers, to be honest. Like, I'm, I'm more of like a turbo guy or like at least like a pro charger centrifugal setup or whatever. But, I mean, this is not too bad for what you got. I mean, it's, it's smaller than what you think it is. But, uh, but yeah, if you want more boost, uh, it's easy to make more boost on this setup right now. But when we put a pro charger on there, there's like very little that we have to do to it. Maybe like a fuel system upgrade, maybe at some point. But to hit that thousand horsepower, just a couple pulleys and, uh, a bigger uh, intake and another supercharger and you'll be hitting that number easy. These side lights, that's aftermarket you do that? Uh, yeah, yeah, they're uh, the LED. Yeah, LED side So when the car is off, you won't notice they're there. They're actually like blended into the body. Yeah, I like that. it's open all the time but um but yeah it's it compares to the uh, boiler system i had on my ss before i cammed it um this is very tame to me like I, i'm not i don't really like it that much <laughs> does this but, stay on all the time to uh, uh yeah yeah that's a gm thing so okay. all like the newer gms have the option yeah but if you wanted to get louder and you want to hear supercharger i just throw it in manual mode and start doing power shift and stuff and you can hear a lot better the uh, intake that changed it a lot or no? 
Yeah, I, I, can, I can hear a lot more um, with it. There's a silencer plate in there that I can take out. I just have to remove the top, uh, the, the hat on it and take that plate out. There's also um, another mod, like a Kong export, I think is what people will usually do to these cars. And um, it gets it a louder whine, but I mean, it, it's whatever. Yeah. In here, you can't really hear it that well, but outside. Yeah, um, I see in the video, you can yeah, hear it. Yeah. It's a whole lot louder um, on the outside of the car, but to me, I was like, man, it's not loud enough. Everybody else is like, yeah, it's too loud. <laughs> Does this have the, oh yeah, this is what I always wanted the Camaro for the, uh, Yes, I, I made I sure they were the actually back. getting rid of that option this when I light. ordered this. But it's a light, yeah, it's an LED light built into it. It comes with all the Camaros around the head unit too. Yeah. And change colors. That's why I always wanted the Camaro for that. <laughs> I was looking to get the two SS. I couldn't find one on the, uh, on the market anywhere. Like, I was only finding an SS. Yeah, I couldn't even test drive this. Like, I, I would have wanted to oh, test yeah. drive, but like, nobody had them. I had to order one. Shit ain't letting nobody just drive these. Right. And since it's a 1LE, we don't get the luxury of a sunroof, which I miss, but at the same time, it's a track car.
and I feel like uh, I feel like I'm getting bored of it already. I feel, that's what people say, I man. I feel like once once you get past third gear, it's like man, yeah, you don't want to do nothing no more. Yeah, that's well, it. When I was getting this done, DreamWorks like does a bunch of like professional athletes, like yeah. Red Eye Hellcats, all that stuff. They said that stock this thing is immediately faster you can definitely tell a difference because when yeah. you get into it you're just kind of like going along and just getting up there or whatever yeah but with this thing uh it seems to be a whole lot faster because it's lighter uh, not as much weight which of course you got a little bit of power with uh no weight on it it's of course going to go faster but um yeah i just love the look of it not many people have it uh where i live uh, good old Henderson 252. <laughs> they know what an SRT is. They yeah. know what Challengers and, char and Chargers are and all that stuff. I'd have such a, um, I'd be like a nervous wreck because everybody want to try to steal my car because they know what it is. Yeah. But around town, I drive around in this. It's like nobody knows what it is until I get into it and they're like, oh, <laughs> that's cool. They just see it looks good. They don't really know what it is though. Yeah, look. Yeah, um, a couple things you can do that because I mean the the scat packs are like the SS Camaros. Um, a good easy power mod you can do a cold air intake, um, a cat back exhaust, and a, a good tune, and that's all you really need. And you'll actually and you'll start noticing that your shifts have picked up. That when you push the pedal to the floor, it's not that like delayed one or two seconds. You actually like go right into it. So those th three simple things are like a good starting point for anybody. Uh, for any uh, car, Camaro, Mustang, or Challenger, Charger, or whatnot. And then if you get bored with it, then, then you think about selling. That's what I say. It's all you can do. <laughs> because you then can do you get into up. like the five, six grand uh, cam packages, then your $10,000 supercharger kits, and then your fuel, double fuel pumps. And, Might as well go get a Hellcat. Yep. But a lot of people were saying that uh, they had those Hellcats that were saying, if you're not going to like drive it hard every day, just stick with the Scat Pack because it's like it's a waste of the extra money. Yeah. Because I, like I said before, I, I was actually um, specking out a Red Eye Hellcat because I, I, I think they're cool. I wanted a Challenger. I wanted a wide body and the Hellraiser Purple. I specced it out for 91000 I got this car for ten grand less, brand new. And it's just been a whole lot of fun. Nobody knows what it is. It's very rare to see. So I, I, I like this whole lot better. Not to knock Challengers, Chargers, or Mustangs, but just this is like Alcantara. I mean, <laughs> I've never had heated cool seats or heated steering wheel before. I mean, this is like luxury sports car to me. Yeah, it is. Nice. And, and it has back seat because uh, I actually had my little girl's uh, car seat back there because we actually go to the grocery store on this thing every once in a while. <laughs> So I actually do take the kids out and we have fun at this thing. Yeah. And with the Z06 Corvette prices, like oh, I was yeah. hoping to get, with them going out the window and we have a ninety thousand dollar markups. I guess 90, I'm gonna 000? stick to this one. Yeah. You haven't seen the paper from one of the dealerships? We got blasted all over in, uh, social media about it. Uh, I didn't know it was like Basis, that. Somebody pre-ordered a Z06 and they're like, "Yeah, we can get it for you, but we're gonna have to take a nine thousand dollar." deposit which will go to your down payment when you get it which is fine but it's not refundable so if you back out you lost nine grand <laughs> but they also did a ninety thousand dollar markup so this car i think isn't this car like starting at like 120 or 150 and you're putting 90 grand over that immediately no add-ons no nothing base price that's ridiculous know, and no. people are having to wait uh, GM's having shortages on chips still. They're still having uh, carbon fiber shortages. So if you had a regular Z01, you couldn't get this, uh, the wing and stuff like that because they have a shortage on it. So it's a whole bunch of crazy mess going on. I can kind of feel it like when you hit the gas, it's like no delay. So is it like, is it like heavy? Like the pedals are heavy? No, not really at all. I mean, um, we were going to that uh, book bag drive where we took the cars out to, uh, to, sh to help inspire some kids, took some extra book bags and stuff last week in Roxborough. I had my friend driving the SS behind me and I was cruising and he's like, dude, I had to like give it almost all the gas to keep up with you. I'm like, I'm just cruising. I don't know what you're talking about. Like 70, 80, 100 miles an hour in this car feels so light. It yeah. doesn't even feel like you're doing it until you look down the speedometer. That's how you get in trouble, man. Yeah. And it's, 
it shouldn't be this it shouldn't be this easy to get that fast like quick like as soon as you turn from this light you already at 100 yeah i just love playing with the pops and crackle though yeah that sounds crazy the tuners and ricers and all that that used to do all the pops and crackles at shows i was like that's so dumb but then i get a <laughs> car like this i'm like oh that's fun yeah Brimble thing though, like squeaking like that. It's a GM. They're um, people make fun of the GM brakes, saying that they uh, have glass brakes. I mean, it starts to do that, but these are like huge Brimbos. Like yeah. if you go like ceramic coated brakes to help with the brake dust, you're gonna lose in the performance. Yeah. So definitely, you need that uh, stopping power. Yeah. The brakes on mine are so big. Oh crap! I forgot. I have quarter spacer on the back, maybe. Just because these are like Z06, I mean ZR1 wheels or whatever. Definitely a nice spectrum. Yeah, and if you get one of these cars, I do not recommend driving it in the rain with the stock tires. The first <laughs> thing you need to do is get some new, get some new tires at least. Yeah, man. First time in the ZR1, man. I love it. Still going to be the... I don't know about selling them, man. They ain't gonna make it no more. I might as well keep it forever. We're not gonna make this anymore. We're going EV2. When? I didn't see that. Yeah, it's been like that for, uh, I think, next year's last year for us, too. I think oh, 2024. Man. And Mustangs are already gone, so. Dang, I didn't know that. Yeah. Everything's going electric. It's all right, man. I know GR's gonna sell me this. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna sell me this. I'm gonna keep both of them. I have, uh, I'll be 80 years old with both of these in my garage. Yeah, be like, how'd you get two of them? Yeah. Had a good friend that sold it to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Million bucks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, with all these EVs coming out. I think I think the demon might get close to it. Oh yeah, the yeah, demon is yeah. demon's gonna Limited be close to it. Yeah. It's already it's already about two hundred. Jeez. Yeah, so I feel like eventually it's gonna be close to it. Maybe five. I can see it getting around five. The C8 Z06s, man. I'm telling you, it's going to be right up there coming out the gate. So they're, they're going to hit it. I wonder when they're going to stop. Hey, no tell. They're coming out with an EV Corvette, too. All wheel drive, everything. They're trying to, everybody got to beat Tesla, man. Tesla said he got the fast. They don't make the plaid no more, right? I don't know about that. Yeah, so I think everybody wants to beat the, uh, the Tesla. He deleted this. since the Z28 fifth gens had the uh, what's called a flow tie which they basically took out that little bit of bow tie in the middle and uh, that gives you a little more air to your radiators higher performance yeah, yeah. so they started doing it on the 6th gen first time in the Z01 loved it popping's crazy the supercharger's crazy this one, the rap is crazy. Y'all drop in the comments, tell y'all to sell it to me. Tell them to give me a, uh, a good price. For the right price. Tell them to give me a good price, though. Not the million dollar price for y'all. I'm gonna get the good price. But that's it for this video. Appreciate y'all watching. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow y'all on this channel. What is it again? The Sinister Camaro. Sinister Camaro on everything. Make sure y'all follow him on everything. Check out the build. The shit is not done. A lot more to come. Appreciate y'all watching.